Hi everyone, this is interesting. slept all night and most of the day. Why am I still feeling tired? Because you're depressed, babe. Someone's at the door. <sighs> I really hope it's not him again. Fucking better not be. I don't have the patience for that shit today. All right. Miss Ashworth, how are you? Are you feeling better? Do I know you? Of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt. We met a few days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had were real good. You probably had one too many, mind you. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. I'll understand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but... I had other reasons for it, too. Personal reasons. It's important. It's important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. Why would you want to talk to me? It makes no sense. I saw the ad you'd put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. I... They still print that? It was months ago. Nobody ever called. I forgot all about it. I gave up on it, actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. But... You've got the room and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise, and I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry, but I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. What do you think? Do we have a deal? Well, I guess I could do with some extra money, but... Great! Can I come in? This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I slept at the train station last night. There's a guy there who docks to rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. 
I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why not go to a hotel then? I hate hotels. More than train stations. With homeless weirdos and rats. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's alright. And he kept the rats away. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust you? How should I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? Jesus, what's wrong with you? Slit your throat? Are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do such a thing, I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just think about it for a second. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. And I wanted to see if you've made it. Why do you want this room so much? Let's face it, this flat's falling apart. It's cold, it's dark, it's a bit moldy. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going through here, and that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People. Just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. You think they'll smell the rats on me? Really need a shower. How did you get in that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it, probably, but I'll tell you. I picked the lock. You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. <laughs> My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. He taught me some of that stuff, too. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lock picks in it. They're very expensive. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. Aww. I see. But you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. Pessimistic. It's not important anymore. I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my <coughs> door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. The noise they made. It was incredible. Like ghosts howling. Then for a while. It turned into an almost human cry. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and got the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. A hunch? Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I'd love to see it. And I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck, and it doesn't shut properly. It's alright. I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. Wow. It's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. Wow. Fine. I give up. Follow me. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. I need to be right back for just one second. Hello. I would apologize, but you won't even notice that I was gone for five minutes. <laughs> this room is perfect. Really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and someone to watch too. 
got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Is there anyone I can contact? For references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so... Not really. I've lived with my mum all my life. Until recently, that is. I could give her a call. Oh, that would be a perfect spot for my post out there. Avoidance! Oh. Yeah, sh sure, that would be okay. You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? I don't know. What do serial murderers look like anyway? Who knows? Dark ass face, an eye patch, rough stubble. Those sort of things, I guess. That's a pirate you've just described. Just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. But who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not yet, anyway. You mentioned some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story, though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, alright. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person. But it's a... friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so... I don't know what he looks like. I love this lamp. Does it work? What was he talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like, but I know my way around computers. I managed to track him down. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here altogether. He's in one of them, and I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? I just want to talk to him. He does something... really bad. Something horrible. I need to talk to him to get closure, you know? Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. <laughs> Are you part of that emo subculture? Are you a part of that emo subculture? Wow. Please don't say that word ever again. No, no, this is just how I dress. I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that emo crap. <laughs> I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. Okay. Clearly a sensitive subject for you. You know, people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're called an emo. Yes. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I dress in black, too. Of course. That's because black is the best color. Period. You know, you've been asking me all these questions, and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. You barely survived. Oh dear. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this. But I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. What made you do that? What did you feel? Long story. Won't bore you with this personal crap. Ha ha ha. Right back at me, I guess. Yeah. I did give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. Just some details. Anyway, I suppose your story is the kind that can't be shortened. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometimes, I'd love to listen. I'll bear that in mind, Mitzi. Let's go back to the living room. Room's great! So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. Miss Ashworth? What happened? Are, are you alright? Yeah, she's just fine. I mean, she's just go away. In face. You have to go away right now. But why, Miss Ashworth? What's wrong? You're not safe here. You 
should leave. Now. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible's gonna happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. I have... I... I knew you were one of them. I knew it. What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason. Calm down. I'm not gonna do anything to you, alright? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble, okay? Just take a deep breath. Please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. Then... Maybe... Oh, no. 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 You're going to die. I know. Yeah. I know. But how did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Do you possess some kind of supernatural <coughs> mind treating abilities? Or is it just so fucking obvious? What do you mean? I. I don't know how you're going to die, but call it a hunch if you like. That's cool. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. But it's hard as a matter of fact. Do you want to see? I'll show you. Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. I completely forgot about that. Jesus fuck. That's a damn good wig. This is fucked up. It's time to wake up, my little pussy cat. What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream? Uh, do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away. Well, I'm getting What's a Doctor Who feel. Cat got your tongue. Mummy, are you my mummy? Uh, well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. What do you say? Shall I take a good look at this pussy of yours? Ugh. Uh, you're disgusting. Ugh. Touch me and I'll kill you, you sick bastard. I fucking mean it. She you have business. no idea who I am. <laughs> You're just a crazy cat lady. That's all you are. Bring it, bitch. Soon, I'll be the crazy cat lady who blew your brains out all over these fucking walls, pal. So laugh while you can. It's not long now. What's going on in there? Who's this? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? Cause if you did, I swear to God. Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. For what? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. 
You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. Okay, Submit. okay. I was just saying, uh, she, she's here for dinner. Good. Dinner. I'm starving. And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats. I ain't fucking wobbles like she's already dead, mate. You nasty little whore. Trying to seduce my husband in my own home. How bloody rude. What? I wasn't trying anything. Shut up, you stupid bitch. <sighs> Twat. I know what you're up to. <sighs> you kept staring at him with these big green eyes. You want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? No, mate, you can keep your fucking ugly eyes, but well, I've got just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. You won't need these eyes and this face much longer anyway. Wow. Wow. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. Jessie doesn't usually like to kill women, but this bitch is prodding her hardcore. You make my skin cool, mate. I see my old lady brought the bleach. Again. What a shame. I really liked your eyes. <laughs> it could have been a start of something uh, very exciting for us, if you know what I mean. Mm -mm. No, thank you. She does that every single time. What do they call it? Trust issues. <laughs> That's it. Well, never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. Ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. But I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Uh, uh, plenty of time until dinner, and... You're in pain, so I've brought something to end your suffering. Think of it as an option. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favourites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. Large calibre. 
You'd you be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Sounds good, doesn't it? Nope. I mean, it's, ju it's just an idea, you know. No pressure. <laughs> ah, of course. You can't see it. That bleach turned your eyes to nothing but jelly. So I'll just leave it for you here. Feel free to use it. That, that bullet's meant for you anyway. I'd better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You naughty minx. <laughs> You've got some serious fucking delusional problems, matey boy. What was that? You can't reach it. Well, what did you expect? Life's a real fucker sometimes. You're a real fucker, mate. I'm really confused about this, like, the fuck is going on here? see a thing that bitch a key who are you say something anything Purr. I I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now Something weird's happening. Oh god, I, I can't. Alright, well I'm gonna end this episode here and um I'll see you guys next time. Later fuckers.